Hi guys, so we're outside here. It is absolutely gorgeous here. Zone 5, Ontario. We're actually in Pakenham, Ontario. So what I'm going to do here now is um, I'm actually going to mark off um, four rows and I'll start planting my garlic bulbs. Now, for the depth that you plant your garlic bulbs depends totally upon the size of the bulb. There is no one size fits all. Whatever size your bulb is, you go down three times deeper or two times deeper. Okay, in my case, I'll probably go down three times deeper because I'm a little late putting it in. So I just wanna make sure that it stays protected. And I should be able to get quite a few in here. After I get the bulbs all in, what I'll do is I'll put the worm casting on top of that, compost on top of that, and then I'll put on the leaves. So, enjoy. <laughs> So as I said, we want to make sure that we give it all sorts of supplements and organic matter before we put it to bed for the winter. So that's what we're going to do. So here we go, planting, putting the bulbs in. When you plant your bulbs, that's another thing, you want to point, plant it with pointy end up, facing up. So I'm just moving the soil. Uh, I just have a tiny little, um, I have a small trowel here, a uh, super small one, and I'm just pulling the soil out and putting it in for the depth that I need for the bulbs and shoveling it back over. As you can see, there's already a lot of organic matter in this bed. Um, every year we add more compost and more um, organic matter in it. So they're all pretty healthy already. But as I said, garlic are big feeders. So you need to make sure that when you put garlic in, that it's a healthy soil you're putting it into and you feed it well. And you feed it with organic matter mostly and it'll do well. So as I said, you put it down to about two to three times the depth of the clove. And it's the easiest thing you could ever plant. Garlic needs to be watered consistently, but do not overwater it when the spring comes. Um, you'll start to see it come up and they will have garlic scapes, which are flowers that grow off them that uh, people make pesto with, or you can pickle, or you can do all sorts of things, but the garlic scapes need to be removed so the growth can go to the garlic bulbs for you. So I think we probably have about 120 or so in here, just guessing. And I have another bed that I'm going to be putting a few in. I, have, um, I should mention that this is music garlic that I'm planting. It's, um, I've tried a few different varieties and I, I really like this one. This year, I did get a couple of other varieties that I haven't tried before and I'll be planting them in another bed. So I'm just going to keep doing this and I'll see you back when I put the compost on. These are the biggest bulbs I think I've ever bought, hands down. So guys, we have all of our garlic in. Uh, now I'm going to take this bag of worm castings and I'm gonna distribute it all over the bed. And then what I will do is I will top that up with some compost, a bag of compost. We, I should mention that we also have irrigation in this bed. So that uh, makes sure that it 
gets watered regularly. We have it set up on a system. So that helps a lot as well um, with getting healthy plants that get enough water. I'm not being too particular about how I put this in or the big chunks because over the winter it's going to break down. But it's just going to give it some extra nourishment and uh, to give it that bump of for its growing season when it starts in the spring. So this will have a time to break down nicely. So there we go with that. Now I'm going to put the compost on top of that. When I tell you that it's really easy to um, grow garlic, it's so easy to grow it. Whew. This has a, an odor, that's for sure. So, there we go. Gonna throw this all over it evenly, semi evenly. There we go. Now, the last thing is the bag of leaves. going to break down beautifully. This is going to be such nice organic matter for these. So on top of this, I may put some straw as well, just to make sure that these leaves stay in place. Uh, because this is definitely what I want breaking down into my garden, is this fantastic organic matter. So, yes, that looks great. So all together, to put all of these in, I would say took probably 25 minutes, which is very little time. So I just wanted to show you how that was done. I do have, even though you may not think you need it now, but later in the season, when, or the spring when everything is melted down, I always keep put the tag in of what garlic it is. And because this year I'm trying a few other ones, I want to make sure that I know exactly what's going on there. So, that one is easy. Garlic is in, even though it's a little late for me, it will do beautifully. There's no question in my mind. I'll come back later and I'll see if anyone in the neighborhood has any straw left over from Halloween. And if so, I will get it and put it in. So thanks for joining me guys for the garlic video. I uh, really hope that you do give it a try. It's easy to grow. Um, it doesn't require a lot of care. So give it a shot. Like I said, even if you put it in grow bags or pots or whatever, give it a shot. So, until next time, we'll see you. Stop. Stop. Okay. Back up. I'm doing everything ass backwards. Soil, uh, I just have a tiny little, um, gosh, oh, sorry. I just have a small, um, call it thing here. <laughs> I have a small trowel here. Whew. Okay, let me see here. I'm good. I'm good. Oops, sorry. Fix you. It's so easy to grow it. And it's so inexpensive to buy it. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Never mind, take that out. Yeah. <laughs> what was I trying to say? Don't even worry about growing it. You're crazy. If you're <laughs> <still buy> it. <laughs>
<laughs> Only fools do that. And it, <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, this stuff stinks. <laughs>